Doctors, we body a mod. The prophets is back and we pulling your cards. Your pastor a lie, he a fraud. You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods. And hopped in a pool full of sharks. So watch what you saying when you do respond. Or get left looking foolish and odd. Like who that won't smoke ain't nobody at all. Doctors, we body a mod. The prophets is back and we pulling your cards. Your pastor a lie, he a fraud. You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods. And hopped in a pool full of sharks. So watch what you saying when you do respond. Thirty-six. I'm Aaron, Mike. Nice to meet you, bro. So I heard you say that you're not perfect, right? I want you to hear something real quick. Now, does does the Bible want us to be perfect? Does God want us to be perfect? At the end of the day, do we need to be perfect before we see the Most High God? Before we before we see Christ? I just know you gotta Give me Philippians four. Okay, okay, so you say you know we got to be a believer in him, we got to have faith in him. I'm going to help you out with something real quick, all right? Give me Philippians 4 and 13. Watch this. Now, I'm sure you probably heard this scripture. You go to church? Not recently, but you grew up probably going to church, right? So you probably heard this scripture right here before. I want to, I'm going to read it to you. Watch this. The book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. Bring it up. I can do all things. Through Christ, which strengthens me. You ever heard that scripture right there, bro? I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. A lot of Christians, a lot of people that go to church all the time, they'll quote that scripture right there, but then they'll say, I can't be perfect. Don't the scripture right there say you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you? So you can be perfect as well, then, can't you? Because I'm going to show you that you can be. Watch what Christ commanded us to be. Give me uh, Matthew 5. Watch this, bro. Matthew 5. And then I'm going to show you what it means to be perfect. Matthew 5 and verse 48. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. Bring it out. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. You see that? Christ said for you to be perfect like your Father in heaven is in, is in like your Father in heaven is perfect. Right? So we got to be just like our Father. We got to be perfect. Ain't he perfect? Don't you think God is perfect? God is without what? Say it again. Without sin. So what we got to be, Mike? There you go. Watch this. Watch this. Give me 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 51. 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 51. That's how you be perfect, Mike. You got to be without sin. In order for you to be without sin, you need to know what God requires of you, Mike. Okay? And we're going to help you today with it, bro. Watch this. Give me that. Verse 61. Let your heart, therefore, be perfect. It says, let your heart therefore be perfect your heart that he's talking about is not the thing that's pumping in your chest he's talking about your mind mike your mind your mind needs to be perfect why with the lord our god to walk in his statutes and and to keep his commandment that's how we keep our minds perfect by keeping the commandments of god mike you see that and that's how we keep sin far from us that's how we are found without sin okay when we keep the commandments of god is that it on it Read it again. Verse 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord our God to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as, as at this day. You see that? We got to keep the commandments today in this time. A lot of churches don't teach the commandments, though, do they, Mike? That's right. They don't, do they? All right, so watch this. Now, you said something else. You said we got to just do what? Have what? Have faith and do what? And believe, right? Right? A lot of Christians say that that's what they've been taught. The church teach you to have faith and believe. But how do you show that you have faith, Mike? What's the will of God, Mike? Hey, huh? You said by doing the will of God, right? We're going to show you what the will of God is. The Bible is repetitive. It's going to say the same thing over and over and over again. Watch this. Give me that in Psalms. Psalm 40. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Uh -huh. Bring it out. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. So David is saying he delights to do God's will. Now he's about to tell you what God's will is that he delights in. Watch this. Yeah, my, thy law is within my heart. He said the law, the law is the will of God that he delights to do. That's what's in his mind. You see what I'm saying? That's what you have to do, Mike. You got to do the laws of God. You got to keep the laws of God. It's that simple. You see what I'm saying? That's the will that you got to do. Okay? Now, 
let's deal with the faith thing, all right? Let's deal with the faith. Now, I want you to see something. Give me uh, Sirach 32 first. Sirach 32, you got that? Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. What does it mean to believe in God? Because you said we got to believe, right? How do you show God you believe in him? Do you just work? Do you just read? Do you just pray? What do you do? Huh? Belief is a verb. It's an action word, right? So in order for you to believe something, you've got to take some type of action to show that you believe. What is that action that we need to take? Because a lot of people say they believe in God, but they don't have actions to prove that they do. Right? We are here because we are commanded to come out here. We're showing that we believe in God by our actions. We keep the commandments of God. God commands us to come out here. Guess what? You see us. We're here. Right? That's us believing in God. We show it to you. Read on. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Bring it out. He that believeth in the Lord, take it heed to the commandment. You see that? If you believe in God, Mike, guess what you're going to take heed to? The commandments of God. We're going to show you some commandments. Okay? And that's what's going to prove whether you believe in God or you don't. Right. Right? Because God is going to tell you to do something or not to do something. And whether you do what he says or whether you do, do what he tells you not to do determines whether you believe in God or not, Mike. All right? Read it again. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Bring it he up. that believeth in the Lord, take, take it heed to the commandment. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. Okay. So if you believe in God, you're going to keep his commandments. All right. Now give me that in James real quick. What you had up? Give me that in James real quick. Watch this. James, two. James chapter 2. All right. Let's start at 14. Listen real good, Mike. Because this is the problem with Christianity right here. A lot of them say they have faith, but they don't believe in works. All right? Watch what James says about that. Read. The book of James, chapter 2, verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it out. What do it, what do it profit? What do it in profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not worked? See that? What is it profiting you to say that you just got faith, that you just believe, bruh? But you ain't got no works to come behind your belief. You ain't keeping no commandments. What is it profiting you? Because at the end of the day, you walk up to the Most High God and just say, I believe, I believe, I believe. But you ain't been doing nothing. He say, what he going to do to you? You going to get life or death. What you going to get? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what we don't want for you, Mike. We want you to live, bruh. All right? Keep reading. Can faith save him? Can your faith, can you just saying, I believe, I believe in God, is that going to save you? Like a lot of our Christians, people today say, or our people that's caught up in Christianity today, they say, I'm saved. And then you ask them, why do you say you say? They say, because I believe in Jesus. This right here is saying, can your faith alone save you? Can you just say you believe in Jesus and just all that you believe in? And is that going to save you at the end of the day? Let's see. Read. Verse 24. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, verse 15. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warm and filled. Now James is giving an example. He says, Listen, just think about it, Mike. Let's just say you you hungry and you naked out here, right? And you came to me and you said, Man, I'm hungry. Can you help me? And I ain't got no clothes on my back. Can you help me with that? And I say, Hey, bro, it's gonna be all right. Just go ahead on. You're gonna get something to eat. You're gonna get some clothes on your back. Is that helping you? Ain't helping you at all, Mike, because you're going to leave still hungry and naked. You're going to leave still hungry and naked. I didn't give you the things that you need in order to help you, Mike. You see what I'm saying? And that's what Christianity has done to our people. They don't give our people the solutions. They don't give them the things that they need to help them out of the situations that they're in. All right? That's why our people live the way they live today, because of Christianity, bro. Because of Islam. You see what I'm saying? Worshiping a false god. Right? Can you read? Notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? You see that? He even asked him, he said, well, if I don't give you the things that you need for your body, what does it profit you? It don't help you at all, Mike. Read on. Even so, he said, just like that, what? Faith, 
if it had not worked, just like that, wouldn't help you. Faith, if it have not worked, is dead. It ain't gonna help you, Mike. Right. Just having faith, just believing, ain't gonna help our people. Just believing ain't gonna help you, bro. You understand that? You gotta have faith and works. You gotta have faith in Christ and keep the commandments of God. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.